If you have ever been to the beach, you have probably noticed a rock formation on either end of the shore. But how did those rocks get here? And why do they come in such peculiar shapes? This particular beach in New South Wales was formed millions of years ago when New Zealand broke away from Australia. Prior to this, the two tectonic plates had collided, raising a gigantic mountain belt which stretched over the entire eastern shore. As soon as New Zealand drifted away, waves began pounding the mountain range. This slowly disintegrated them, exposing hard rock which had formed deep inside the mountains as a result of extreme pressure. The rocks then tumbled down, creating the formations we see today. Within these formations, there are some familiar features. Lines, basins, and Swiss cheese-like holes are just some of the strange structures typical here. Some are so perfect that you would be forgiven for thinking they were made by people. However, there are explanations for all of these characteristics. These small holes, for example, are caused by mollusks burrowing into rock. Incredibly, by secreting acidic chemicals or using their shell as a grinder, these mollusks are able to penetrate virtually indestructible material. Larger, similar-looking holes are caused by salt expansion. When salty water enters cracks in the rock, wind evaporates the trapped water, leaving behind salt. The salt then expands, forcing a gap between the rock. Basins, usually located on the surface of these rocks, are larger still. These are created when small rocks and sediment get caught in ruts along the surface of the rock. The swishing caused by waves then cause the rocks to grind away inside the hole in a circular motion. After enough time, a basin appears. Finally, we come to these peculiar lines. These are created when rushing water erodes the softer parts of a rock. When a small gap is created, pebbles and other small objects are carried into the rut, gradually grinding away further down the rock. Eventually, this will result in a line. However, erosion is relentless. While oceans and wind exist, our coastlines will continue to change. In less than a million years, these rocks will likely no longer exist. <laughs>